Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, what we're doing is reviewing this set, seven, uh, the set 75152. And as you can see, let me just get the box here. This was one of the sets for Rogue One here, as you can see. So this, it was the um, Star Wars Rogue One tank. It's called the Imperial Assault Hover Tank. And as you can see, it comes with a tank, obviously, and three characters. The characters are Shiver, Sh Sh Chirrut, Imperial Hover Tank Pilot, and another Imperial Hover Tank Pilot. So, as you can see, right here is it. This is the um, tank right here. So first up, we're going to look at the Sh Chirrut. Chirrut? I'm just going to call him Chirrut. So, as you can see, Chirrut is a very interesting figure. I like how he has the Je uh, Jedi lightsaber hilt, but it has these little sticks, I guess you could say, at the end. I think it, it's very close to, like, in the um, actual movie. He had the uh, the sticks with the hilt, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool and it suits him. Um, but uh, going on to a second weapon, which is more of a crossbow... As you can see, the second weapon is a crossbow, and it's brick built, so th I like how they didn't use stud shooters in this design. They used the normal um, sniper rifle. So they took the sniper rifle, and uh, as you can see right here, they added these bits. So you slide on that, and you slide on this here. And it looks very nice. I think it's pretty good how they used the sniper design, or sniper mold they already had, and they turned it into the crossbow. So that's our first figure. Our second figure is in this ship uh, tank. So we're just going to open this up and grab our two stormtroopers. So, as you can see, they each have the same look, no difference at all. They have the exact same character. Um, so here, we'll just put a zoom up on it. So as you can see, uh, he has these a trooper helmet and his head is the same heading they use for all of them the same heading they use for all of them and as you can see if i focus here um the helmet is a new design it's the scarif uh, trooper helmet but colored all white i think it looks very good in the white and for the pants molding um, and the torso molding, it's pretty nice. It's got the trooper, it's got a little bit of that dirty look. So here, as you can see, um, this other trooper's the same. So basically, um, they both have guns. This one has a normal size blaster. As you can see, he has a normal size blaster here. And for the other one, if I put it in this cargo container, you can just lift up the cargo container and it has the little blaster inside. So, now that I have the blaster here, um, the other trooper comes with the small pistol blaster and he also comes with the binoculars. So, uh, pretty cool accessories for the stormtroopers. Uh, we're just going to put them back here. And now we're going to take a look at the tank slash, I guess, like, um, assault tank looking thing. So, here we have the tank. The tank is actually a good size, I would say. Compared to my hand, it's like my hand is as big as um, the back part of it. So here, as you can see, uh, there's two parts to it. Uh, there's, there's, there's the middle part, which is kind of like the containment. Um, there's the right and left part, which is these um, things that you add on on top. So, this just fell off here. Okay, so as you can see, it has these uh, little uh, uh, things that you can spin. Little uh, cannons, I guess you could say. The front part, um, it has the cannons, and as you can see, it has the little shooters here, and you can turn it so it shoots. And I like these uh, bricks here, how they use the bricks to have this um, shooter that you can spin. On the front here, you can see there's this little lid thing, and you can take the lid down, 
and in there you can put like a little trooper and take a look at the top here as you can see that there's this little sniper thing on the top you can lift this up for more trooper space where you can put the troopers as you can see there's no real chairs you kind of just slip the troopers in like that or in the back you'll put them just slip them in like that you can close it or like but you have to put it a little lower so as far for the things they can fit inside you can fit inside two lego minifigures on the back here as you can see there's this little cargo ship thing and if you take it off uh, you can fit different things inside inside there let's say uh we want to fit this little binoculars you just put it inside and seal it on the top so it looks like that it's pretty cool for the back here as you can see it's kind of the same design but um there's these little plates to put the cargo containers on the left and right there's lots of mini figure space so let's say you want to do like a i don't know play with like a bunch of stormtroopers or something or like let's say i take another stormtrooper from another set and put it on you can turn it into like a, a battle tank i guess you could say and um, so yeah and that's pretty much it for the rundown of the uh, imperial tank as you can see they fit all pretty nicely i think this is a pretty nice build i really like the way that the tank looks and how it can hold two stormtroopers as you can see we can compare uh, a regular stormtrooper to uh, the new stormtrooper the scarif stormtrooper so the pilot as you can see the helmet molding is different um the torso piece the guns are the same here but look um i much prefer these guns the ones that here rather than stud shooters because uh, when you have a stud shooter it looks kind of basic and it doesn't look like a real blaster like they actually shoot but it's not as well and here i'll show you guys the actual shooting mechanics of it. so basically these little knobs here, if you turn them, it shoots. So here, we'll just try that out. As you can see, check out the wall. Well, that one went flying, but as you can see, they just turn just by a slight turn. They can shoot out the little missiles. And that's mostly for the playability features, you know, not to hit it at your eyes or anything. But that is pretty much it for set 75152, also known as the Imperial Assault Hover Tank. It's a very cool set, I think, and it deserves a lot more attention. But that's it for the Assault Hover Tank. And thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you next time, and bye.